Adam, you and I spoke in February about how walking this um, pathway in language, the language pathway with a client, also possibly creates a neural pathway for the client. Can you can you elaborate on that a little bit for us? Yeah, um, there's there's you know the brain research is becoming so much more available, and I think even user friendly. Um, but I think the essence, as far as it relates to this this component of solution focused free therapy, is a concept of neuroplasticity and the idea of the brain is always changing, yeah. and um, neural pathways um, are are changing, um, new connections are being made as we experience new things, as we as we talk about something in, in a way that we've never talked about it before. Um, and that different parts of the brain um, control or, or are responsible for different arenas. And so you have things like the parietal lobe of the brain that, that manages touch or the, the sensation of touch, um, the temporal lobe that controls sound, uh, auditory sensations. Um, you have the occipital lobe that controls vision and those kinds of things, the, the amygdala that really kind of regulates emotion. Um, and so as, as, again, if we go back to that preferred future, as we, as we as clinicians ask our clients about their preferred future and say, you know, what would you, what would you notice? What would you see? What would be different as far as vision? Or what would, what would so-and-so say to you? And so what would you hear? Uh, what's the first thing you would eat that day? Um, as, we, as we purposefully touch um, various parts of the brain, um, and that can even be around emotion. I know one of the, the critiques of solution-focused brief therapy oftentimes is, is that we ignore or overlook emotion. And I think that that doesn't have to be the case. In fact, I would say we probably shouldn't. And so as we, as we touch that uh, amygdala portion of the brain and we, and we ask them about their feelings and emotions on that preferred future day, um, we're helping new connections, new ideas to be connected, new neural pathways to be developed or rehearsing, uh, going over a neural pathway that's already been developed. And so the more that we do that, the more pieces of the brain we can touch, or the more times we can go over a certain neural pathway. Okay? As the client leaves and they're no longer with, with us in the room, if any one of those pieces, uh, a sound or a feeling or an emotion or a taste is experienced, that becomes a sign that, that the preferred future or pieces of the preferred future are already happening. And, and so the more details we can get and the more parts of the brain we can touch uh, with, a, with, with our questioning, um, the more likely it is for that neural pathway to be elicited, the, to be lighted up. And um, as, as one peace is touched or remembered, then the, the great thing about neuroplasticity is that the rest of the brain or the rest of the pieces, the neural pathway, can also be activated. And again, it's as if the client is experiencing that preferred future again in that moment. Join me on my Facebook page, Solution Focus Institute of South Africa, or you can join us on Twitter at SFI Future Focus.